Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today I'm going to be uh, doing a review and a demonstration on this uh, Milwaukee M12 grease gun. And this is a 2446-20. Uh, so uh, what I've got, this is empty right now. And I put a full battery in here. I just charged it up. This is the Red Lithium XC. So this is the extra capacity battery. That fits in there just fine. You can see they have clearance for that. And um, so what I'm going to show you is how to put a grease cartridge in here and a little review demonstration. This is brand new, so um, if you're watching this and it's been a while since it's been posted, uh, just ask and see how I still like it or if it's still working or not, you know. So uh, let's get a cartridge in here and try this thing out. So to start off with, we're going to take the uh, this this metal tube off, and what that does, it's got a little grippy kind of texture here. It's not very thick. I, you know, I don't know if that'll keep you from slipping and while it was full of grease. But either way, you just spin that off. It comes empty. Looks like Milwaukee might have pre-greased it or something from, or tested it out from the factory. Either way, looks good. Uh, so what you do now is you take this this tube here and you pull it back. There we go. Uh, it looks like it had a little bit back here, a little bit of grease. Anyways, so we're gonna wipe that off. So you can see we've got the handle back, and it's got a little notch back here that you pull the handle back and then drop it into the notch. And uh, so we've got a new new grease tube. This is Valvoline Cobalt. I figured I'd give it a shot. It's pressure activated technology. I don't know much about this. You can look at their website, um, Valvoline or. Uh, something like that dot com either way uh, if I, I'll put a link for it down below uh, if you're looking for something like this and I'll put a link for the the actual grease gun too I bought this tool only I already had the batteries so no big deal with that uh, did not come with a case I kinda would rather have it come with a case but got this on sale so I kinda did that that's what the grease looks like uh, yeah there that is so you got this little pull tab here just like opening a can of Vienna's and um, Kind of wipe that off there. Wow, that is some sticky grease. Whoa. All right. I like to take the cap and I'll put this little pull tab down inside of there. So, kind of fold that grease over there a little bit. It is cold out. It's probably 30 some degrees. You can see it's snowing uh, today. That's always fun. What a better day. No better day to grease your machine than in the snow. So, uh, got that tube down in there. I don't know if you saw that. I just, just push it down in there. Metal ring goes up toward the threads here. The cardboard tip where the plastic cap was goes, you know, all the way down here. So, uh, we got that in there. Now what we're going to do is just thread it, push this into the grease gun, and then just thread it in by hand. Just like that, no need to put a wrench on there or anything. And I've got grease everywhere already, which is part of the fun of greasing. So, got that. Now, next step is after you do all that, you see this handle here. You'll want to take the handle and just, um, you just pick the handle up and then let it go. And it kind of just sets up inside of there like that. Ready to go. All right, so you can see it's got a little holder here on the side. I thought that was kind of nice to keep the, the tip from flopping around everywhere. And uh, you can see the, the tip goes into this little holder part and the hose goes onto these little clips. So pull that off, pull that out, and uh, you can see uh, it's, it's still clean. I haven't gotten anything out. Let's try to purge this thing now and See if we can get this thing going. There's a little button here that's supposed to let the air out, but let's see if we can get it get it going. There we go. All right, got it. Perfect. So, got some grease coming out of there. So let's get you up here on the Zerk fitting for the uh, the boom, and we'll give that give that a try. Let's see what happens. There's our Zerk fitting inside of this here where the pin is snap that on there this is not a lock lube or anything so it just you know doesn't have the lever on it or anything I really like those I might try that out on one of these so let's uh 
Let's put that on there and I'm just gonna pull the trigger. This doesn't have any adjustments on it for how many pumps like the M18 does. Uh, so you kind of just pump it till it comes out. So shove it back on there again. Let's see what happens. It does have a battery gauge right here uh, that shows you how much battery is left in it while you pull the trigger. It doesn't stay on all the time. But I'm holding it on there. I've got the, the gun right here. Let's let's try it out. Hasn't started coming out yet, so I'm going to give it a little bit more. There it goes. That looks pretty good. Let's go on down here and we'll try these uh, these uh, boom cylinders right here. Let's give that a go. Let's see how much is coming out of here. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's nice. Beautiful. Alright, let's give it a little bit more. I didn't see anything coming out yet. Alright. I can see way down in there where the um, where the cylinder meets the the frame that started coming out just then. So I'm gonna continue going around the machine and then I'll give you kind of a final final thoughts. Alright. I went around the machine and I found a few bad Zerk fittings and it kind of just pumped up until it uh, you could tell it was really laboring you know it really wasn't wasn't working that well but uh, the ones that did work well on were the ones that were open and functioning so uh, first impressions very impressed uh, this is this is exactly what I needed uh, it used to take I mean I went around this whole thing in no time you know uh, so that was that was a huge time saver for me and with the equipment we've got now having a grease gun that that'll really speed the process up and uh, and be way more user friendly is going to be a benefit for the farm so I like it and uh, so far so good like I said I, I'll let you know in the comments below if uh, you know if later on something happens it doesn't work well or whatever so check those out drop me a comment ask me if uh, ask me if it's still working uh, and then I'll let you know but either way thanks for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs>